which is cray cray since I haven't done a video in forever and I don't even have a good reason for that. I've just been lazy and a bit busy but mostly lazy. Let's be honest. <laughs> and I hope you can hear me because it is super hot in Wisconsin right now which is pretty much how it's been all freaking summer. It's like 95 degrees out yet again and I have a fan going, and I have two air conditioners going, and I'm still hot. Ugh. Oh my god. When did that happen? I'm so hot. Are you kidding me? What the? So I wanted to come on here and film a haul video, but it's not your typical haul video. This haul video comes at you via a little place called Australia. Oh yeah, I got a box from Oz. How freaking exciting is that? My friends Brad and Fiona sent me a care package and in turn I sent them a care package out today. And I wanted to wait before unearthing what they sent me until their box was shipped out and on its way to them. Because I felt really astastic because I had to wait an extra week um, to mail theirs because I didn't realize that it costs a buttload to ship something across the world. And yeah, 60 bucks later, without any sort of delivery confirmation, um, because United States Postal Service doesn't offer that, even after paying 60 freaking dollars, um, their package is on the way, and I'm really excited for them to get it. I put a bunch of wisconsin -y, um, things in there and yeah I can't wait so five to ten business days guys you should get a box from moi here is what was in my awesome box from Australia the first thing that caught my eye that I'm so excited about because I love fuzzy things is this guy what how adorable they, as in Brad and Fee, they live in Tasmania, which is an island off of the southern-ish part of Australia. Um, I've never been there, so I don't really know too much about it. I can't wait to someday go there. This guy, I'm assuming, is a Tasmanian devil. I mean, he looks like he has horns. <laughs> There's actually a card, so I think I'm going to open the card and read it and this looks like that looks like a necklace I like that um okay let's see yes this is an Australian Tasmanian devil like there's any other kind of Tasmanian devils this is a Tasmanian devil and this is a necklace and it's Australia shape so I love that. Imagine me wearing that because I'm totally going to. So we got this guy, but I have to say, this is scarier than this. <laughs> I'm actually really excited about this. I've been curious about Vegemite for a while and I've watched one too many Chopped shows um, or like crazy cooking shows where they use crazy ingredients like this. And it's funny because the nutritional information I have no idea what that is, like what it all means. The first thing that's listed on there is energy. Odd, right? But I can't tell like what the amounts mean or anything like that. So I think I'm going to invest in some more global <laughs> food items because it's great. I don't even know if this is bad for me or good for me. And I like it like that. I'm super excited to try this. I think we're going to be spending some time on Pinterest tonight looking up some recipes, Vegemite recipes. So, thank you! This, which I need to look this up because it says Baghdad and I think that, that must be the post office. It's a cup holder, which is, I actually really need one of these. So, you have no idea how stoked I am. Um, 
Look at how funny the phone number is. Don't call it. Big Dad Storm Post Office. I'm going to have to Google that. There's going to be a lot of Googling happening. Then, <laughs> there's this. And it says, Huan, I don't think I'm saying, I'm probably not saying that right. Huan pine is said to be one of nature's nicest insect repellents. Oh my gosh, I'm going to wear this as a freaking necklace. I hate bugs. It contains an essential oil, me methyl eugenol. The characteristic smell is known to repel silverfish, oh my god, and other insects. I hate silverfish. I think that's what we have here in Shorewood. They look like a cross between a centipede and a spider. I don't think that there's anything more frightening than that besides moths and this. You have no idea. It smells like wood. Like it smells like, oh, you know what it smells like? It smells like wood shop from high school. Ugh. I actually really like how it smells and it's probably good since I hate silverfish. And this is my new accessory. Okay. We have Tasman... I say Tasmanian, but this Tasmanian... Tasman? Yeah, Tasmanian. Tasmanian Leatherwood Honey. Genuine. I sent you guys little things like this in this little jar too. I sent you like mustard and dipping sauces. Maybe I sent you honey too. I hope so. You need honey with a something complex flavor. I can't pronounce these words. Ooh, flavor is spelled with a U. Gathered from a rare leatherwood tree in the ancient wilderness of western Tasmania. Best used and stored at room temperature. Okay. I'm excited. Let's get to the things I'm super excited about. I'll leave the best for second last. We have this Cadbury Dairy Milk. Ooh. And you know what the best thing is? I don't know what any of that says. That's the nutritional information. This is so exciting and delicious. I'm afraid to eat this stuff because I want to save it forever. Eee, hello. I love these so much and I buy them here at Target. They sell these, but I will tell you what. I bet you that they're not as good as the freaking original straight from the source, Tim Tam. Yeah, these actually don't look like the ones that I get at Target. It's actually really interesting, too, because there's all different languages on here. And you know how in um, America we have uh, Spanish and English, but here there's, like, I don't even know what that is. Some sort of, like, Middle Eastern writing. Ooh, and again, I don't know what the calories are. Ching. I'm so excited. Tim Tam Slams. Do you guys know what that is? It's when you take a Tim Tam. And like I said, if you're in the States, you can get Tim Tams at Target. Now, they're not going to be as awesome as my Tim Tams, but they'll work. And it's amazing. Tim Tam Slam is when you take a Tim Tam and they're, they're like chocolatey cookies. They're, you know, kind of long and skinny. And you bite off both ends just a little bit. So you have, you know, a cookie without any solid chocolate covered ends. Then you take a hot beverage. It could be hot chocolate, which I recommend highly, or coffee. Um, tea would probably not be tasty. I would do something like creamy and rich. And then you dip the end of the Tim Tam into your hot beverage and you suck like it's a straw, right? Just until the liquid hits your tongue and then you slam that emming effer into your mouth and it is the best thing ever. I can't wait. My friend Brad works for Coca-Cola in Australia and my mom is obsessed with Coca-Cola. She always has been. Our house, it growing up, it's like covered in Coke stuff. 
she wanted to have Cocoholic as her license plate, but my dad wouldn't let her because that's like, yeah. <laughs> no, officer, it's Coca Cola. It's not the white stuff. So, Brad sent this. My mom is going to fight me for it. It is a cooler, which w this is so cool because we used to sell these in my old gift store. They're for wine bottles, but inside of this cooler, Coke bottles. Ooh. My mom was very keen to know that the tops are different. You know how our tops, they're like, they're like bottle caps. These are not. These are kind of like, like wine or something. Very interesting. Very cool. So that's my haul from Australia. Thank you so much, Brad and Fee. This is so fun. So fun. And now, all I want to do is come visit you and your country and these guys. Maybe next time, send me a koala. A live one. Baby one would probably be cheaper to ship. Alright guys, thank you, thank you, thank you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Love you guys. And I'll see the rest of you later.